Welcome back. A man who was admitted to hospital with E. coli after eating a wrap he believes was contaminated with the infection of E. coli has asked lawyers to investigate his case. Last week, the UK Health Secretary Agency said one patient had died in the E. coli outbreak, which investigators believe is linked to salad used in sandwiches. Well, senior clinical lecturer at the University of Exeter Medical School, Dr Bharat Pankhania, joins me now to talk us through all of this. So I guess the first obvious question is, um, uh, Dr Pankhania, what is E. coli? Where, where might we find it in our, in our kitchens, homes or in a sandwich we buy on the high street? So there's a little distinction between just the E. coli and what we call this shiga toxin producing E. coli. So E. coli is common amongst all of us. And then we have this particular brand, if you will use that word, of E. coli, which has acquired the ability to produce what we call shiga toxin. And it is this E. coli 0154 or similar other numbers, where if you were to get infected by it, you can get extremely ill. And where is it found? It is found often in cattle feces. So you know, if you go to a petting farm, et cetera, then you're likely to encounter animal feces, especially cattle feces, and then from, from the feces to your hand, to your mouth, and then you get that illness. Uh, but it seems extraordinary then that it's popped up in salad in sandwiches. Exactly so, Saima, exactly so. So this is, this is probably the chain of events that may have happened, which is that the land on which the salads were grown were probably fertilized with uh, farm manure, i.e. containing cattle feces, or that the salads were watered with water contaminated with, 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 with cattle feces, or sim sometimes it can also be that the, uh, the, the seeds themselves have been contaminated with cattle feces and then the E. coli has been dormant on the, on the seeds. Uh, so, look, we, we've spoken to a man who believed he, he might have died because he was so ill. What are the symptoms people should look out for? How seriously should people take this? Well, E. coli 0154 and similar are extremely serious and um, we do all that is possible to prevent the spread from person to person because once it has, it has happened, of course, we try and backtrace uh, the source of the infection. So what is peculiar about this E. coli strain is that it produces a toxin and that toxin starts to knock off your red blood cells and then those red blood cells broken down can start to block your kidney tubules and then it leads to kidney failure. So what are the signs and symptoms? You can be just ill with diarrhea. You may have diarrhea with blood in it. So you have bloody diarrhea. That's often a signature of these shiga toxin producing E. coli. And then of course you can be systemically ill as your man describes, headache, tummy ache, fever, aching muscles, aching joints. OK, Dr Bharat Pankania, thanks very much for joining us to talk us through what we should be looking out for with that recent E. coli outbreak. Thank you. You're welcome.